Welcome to Crypto Mastery Class, where we make crypto easy to understand and simple to invest in. We're going to look at news, overall market, hot movers in the basket, indicators, and most importantly, question and answers. I'm Susie, also known as Crypto Girl, and we've got Trader Joe on the line, the creator of the infamous Crypto Mastery Indicators. So we're here to look at the market. But at the moment, we're going to go over the news. Famous U.S. Senator Stan for tax-free crypto transaction by Sarala on CryptoNews.com. Famed U.S. senators have proposed a new bill that will exempt modest crypto transactions from capital gain taxes. A proposed bill attempts to exempt Americans from keeping track of taxes whenever cryptocurrencies are traded. The bill was submitted by Senator Pat Toomey and Kristen Sinema which would exempt the United States from disclosing any trades in which they make less than $50 or transactions up to $50. Both senators sought the exemption from tax applications for cryptocurrency users to make minimal investments or transactions. Senator Patrick Joseph Toomey stated, while digital currencies have the potential to become an ordinary part of Americans' everyday lives, our current tax code stands in the way. One more move for tax exemption. With the adoption of this bill, any person who executes transfers or virtual currencies on behalf of another person's account will be included in the definition of a broker for tax filing requirements. Additionally, for the purposes of reporting, it treats digital assets as authorized securities. The bill will make it simpler for people to utilize cryptocurrency as a regular form of payment by exempting simple personal transactions from taxes. Other countries have also seen the possibility of excluding low-level transactions from tax considerations. The Virtual Currency Tax Fairness Act is a continuation of an initiative that was repeatedly made in the House of Representatives. The act offers a minimal exemption for reporting taxes on transactions made in cryptocurrency. Prior bill demanded up to $200 of profit from the disposition of virtual currency in a personal transaction from gross income for income tax purposes. The comprehensive cryptocurrency measure was filed in June by Senators Loomis and Gillibrand. Next, could Ethereum be classified as a security following the merge? By Timothy Craig on CryptoBriefing.com. A recent SEC insider trading lawsuit has reignited discussion over which crypto assets could be classified as securities, most notably Ethereum. A recent SEC investigation into insider trading has revived debates over whether Ethereum could qualify as a security. Some have argued that Ethereum passes the Howey test due to the way it was launched in Ethereum's move to proof of stake. As Ethereum stakers earn revenue from validating blocks on the Ethereum network, there is an argument that Ethereum investors buy the asset with the exception expectation of a profit. However, a security classification from the SEC seems unlikely. A final point regarding Ethereum staking profits also helps refute the critical, the criteria for a security found in the Howey test. Today, most securities that fall under the SEC's purview constitute stock offerings from a registered com from registered companies. Investors who hold them do not need to perform any special duties or labor to ensure they receive the profits from the issuer in the form of dividends. However, in the case of Ethereum staking, Ethereum holders must acquire sufficient computer hardware, install the necessary client software and configure it, maintain an internet connection, and ensure their validator node operates properly and honestly. Due to the significant labor needed to profit from staking Ethereum. Some have argued that stakers receive payment for performing a specific service rather than deriving profit from the actions of others. I thought that was a great article. So exciting. And the last one we have for today is businesses can pay salaries in Shiba Inu, Shib, to Shib holding employees by Yusha on Cryptonomics.com. Businesses can now pay employee salaries in Shiba Inu, SHIB, thanks to a new solution released by non-custodial cryptocurrency gateway, Now Payments. Businesses with SHIB 
specialists among their staff may give them the option to receive their salary in Shiba Inu tokens, according to a recent blog post by Now Payments. Notably, the meme-based cryptocurrency may now be used by businesses to pay interested employees' salaries through the Crypto Gateway Platform's mass payment service. Now Payments, a newly launched solution for businesses, will increase the usefulness of Shiba Inu and demonstrate that it is no longer a meme coin. Advantages of using Now Payments solution. Businesses using the system would gain essential advantages such as a straightforward payment process, speedy transactions, privacy, transparency, accountability, and security. According to Now Payments, businesses that use the service would not have to worry about upholding the tight Know Your Customer KYC regulations. This approach is primarily connected to conventional payment methods, which typically result in delays in processing payments. With more than 1.2 million holdings, the SHIB token recently reached a record-breaking milestone. The number of Shiba Inu owners currently stands at 1,213,432 per whale stats. The Shiba Swap Ecosystems Government's token, BONE, B-O-N-E, has a maximum supply of 250 million tokens and enables the Shiba Inu community to vote on up-and-coming proposals. So now we're going to look at the overall market for Bitcoin and Ethereum. But first, we're going to look at everything. So for the one month analysis, that's with your chart you're seeing. But today's market cap for all of crypto land is $957 billion. So I took this out to one month. I know in previous weeks we've looked at one week, but I wanted to show you this big dip in the middle too. So around July, between July 8th and 10th, you had this huge dip, probably to $750 billion. And as soon as it went down, it went right back up. So I wanted to let you guys know that dips like that do happen. And if you've got stop losses in place, they will take them out. So that's a little danger, danger uh, awareness tool there. Um, and just notice that it happens. And so just keep watching this chart every week or month or day. And just notice, notice that when those dips happen, that, you know, what is the risk of that dip? Now, it's great if you're shorting the market, but here in, I am in America and in the United States, we are not allowed to short crypto. So therefore, it wouldn't be advantageous to a U.S. residence. All right. But now if we look a little bit further to the right, we can see that where we currently are at $957 billion. And you can see we are down from the one trillion and a half or almost to two trillion that we just experienced earlier this month around July 20th. So that is what it is. I also underlined in a green line the June 26, 2022 to July 26, 2022. So you can see the exact date range of the one month that we're looking at today. All right. So now we have the one month performance chart in market cap block size. Now I'm going on a one month view because at this point, there's a lot of volatility in the market and that's exciting because that means some people people are making money and losing money and the losing is not good the making is good so just know that it's a zero-sum loss situation in this market when you see the market go down someone's shorting the market and making a bunch of money on shorting the market okay they're just most likely if they're trading legally they're not in the united states okay when they're shorting so it's another reason why you in it's advantageous for you to have indicators so that you get in and get out. And when you are in crypto and you are trading, you need to be all hands and eyes on deck, right? Because these happen fast and you can get in, make money, and you can sell fast. So this is all about, it's not financial advice at all. It is just techniques as to how and how much you have to to keep your eyes on the ball and use the indicators use the technology that you have at your fingertips to make good sound decisions and sometimes fast movements so on the one week performance in market cap block size what you're looking at is you're seeing that the dark green means that the price moved up three steps and so the one that it's very obvious here is Matic is dark green. And on the one month performance average, Matic went up around 23%. So that's dark green. So this is great for my visual learners that 
like color and shape and sizes and this just that's what makes sense to you so as matic square is smaller than ethereum what that means is the entire amount of money invested in matic all in the entire global world is a lot less than invested in ethereum which is the second largest block and bitcoin is the largest block because 40% of all the money in crypto is invested in Bitcoin currently. And on the bottom of the Bitcoin block, you see dominance 40.76%. So Bitcoin is the only one that actually gives you the percentage of what amount of the overall money invested in crypto land is invested in Bitcoin. The other ones you would just uh, deep dive and click on the boxes on uh, coin360.com to see what the market cap is. So then we have um, medium green means the price went up two steps and that's Ethereum. So overall in a month, Ethereum went up 11.26% from this date on average to the last month previous. And the light green means the price went up one step. So the example of that is BNB, Binance coin, and that went up 1% to $242. So we are gonna to go to use the CryptoMastery.online indicators now. If you wanna to subscribe to those, you would just go to the URL that you see here, CryptoMastery.online. And on that, you're gonna see a lot of good tutorials inside of there with video archives and in-depth tutorials when you subscribe to CryptoMastery.online. So here is Bitcoin USD one week performance chart with the radar indicator. It turns four charts into one and you can customize your time frames on the upper left hand area by clicking on that radar sign. So currently on this particular Bitcoin chart, I have shown 60 minutes, four hours, one day and one month on the radar on the lower right hand corner. So the 60 with the red arrow down means on average for the one hour, the time is the Bitcoin's price is going down. But on a four hour average, the price is going up on the one day average is going down and the one week average is going up. So it is active right now so we're currently at a price at 20,865 at the time of taking this slide at 11:22 this morning so here's bitcoin usd one week performance chart with the crypto mastery indicators so the early reversal indicator is showing that it is that the price of Bitcoin is still targeted to go down now the early reversal indicator is one of my favorite ones it's got red candlesticks which reflects what's happening on the very lower indicator of the volatility index which is showing that it's in the oversold zone still super exciting when it comes to being in an acquisition position so if you have sideline funds still waiting to get in that's a great place to that i look to get in when the volatility index is in the red zone i have the arrow pointing at 7.43 Remember, this is a one week performance chart. So it's telling you the volatility index for one week average, but it's low. And so therefore, when the lower you buy, when the volatility index is as low as it can go, that means you only have, you have a large area for it to grow. So it's almost as if you're planting a seed. So you have all the, the possibilities of the height to go up. Now the signal line, which is the second to bottom line, that one is tight so you have the red line and the gold line coming together which typically when that happens in the past it's when it switches to green so that's not happened yet on a one week average but it's close very close and then you have the trend strength indicator which is a phenomenal indicator and it's showing that for the last two weeks it's been going up so earlier on the charts before we saw one week week one month average and this is a one week average you're seeing on the trend strength indicator so that typically happens and then after the trend strength comes in and you'll see everything else follow suit so this is phenomenal now there are a lot of chitter chatter amongst crypto uh traders that it could go down even further so at this point that's why i'm looking at the long long perspective of this because even if there is some acquisition now, if it does switch and go even lower, uh, it could happen. But at this point, you know, the all of the indicators are not showing upward other than the trend strength. 
So we're still watching for the trend to come into effect and say, hey, we have a key opportunity on a one week basis. It has not happened yet. So you can see that it's red and the early reversal is red and the signal line is still red. So we still have one, two, three indicators that haven't said, hey, we're moving up. But the trend strike gives us some hope that there are two potential ups. So we'll just say in general, there's still some turbulence in, in Bitcoin as far as letting it move up, but be on the lookout because it could be coming soon. Here is Ethereum USD with a one week performance chart utilizing the radar indicator. Again, it turns four charts into one. You can customize the time frames on the left. So with Ethereum for the four hours, it is going down for the one day. Ethereum price is going down, but the one week and the one month, it is up for those averages. And here is Ethereum USD one week performance chart with crypto mastery indicators. So just like Bitcoin, that early reversal has not come back up yet saying, hey, we've got some strength and some great potential of it moving up. The trend indicator has not come in in the upward position yet. The trend strength, however, is showing that there is some movement and then there's a possibility that we will be moving up. So that typically comes in first. So that's for the last three weeks. It is showing green. The signal line indicator, it is tight. So you can see right there on a one week average. Oh, guys, it could be really close. And that volatility index on Ethereum is higher than the volatility index of Bitcoin. It's up 13.98%. So there's a lot of signs in good situations. I like what we're seeing in the volatility index. I love how that signal line is getting tight and close again. It is good to see that that trend strength is coming and the trend has not hit yet and the early reversal hasn't hit yet. So I feel like we've got two indicators in great positions and it could be it, it could be this week that this flips um we'll see we'll see so now the basket that we've had for a few um good while now is bitcoin ethereum polygon cardano chainlink litecoin cosmos algorand harmony phantom and solana and most of these can be found on coinbase so some hot movers in the basket today there's not a lot all right, guys, so the only one that's actually trending upward for the day and the week is Uni USD. And currently it says that it's going down. So there's clearly some profit being taken on the short term right now, but on the one day and one week averages, that is green. Now, Ethereum, Atom, Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin, and Anchor, ACH, those are down either for the day or the week, they're not in a line, but on the current moment, they're moving up. So people are noticing, hey, these are down, but, um, and so they're they're scooping them up back up. So let's jump in and we'll look at those live on some charts and analyze them with Joe. So on your watch list, the coins are up for the moment. That's where you see the the green area on the right hand side. But this one, you can organize your watch list by percentage change, amount of change in price, last price, symbol name. You can also add subsections to your watch list to better organize what is ready to buy versus what is ripe and ready to sell. So these coins are up for the day, but I always look for the coins on the floor to be ready for my next buy. So that's what I'm utilizing this red zone for, the red zone that is temporarily up that's what could be low enough to buy. So we want to zone in on one, two, three, four, five, those six coins today. So the crypto screener review, just so you know that it's not financial advice. Um, it's a one day Coinbase sorted by technical rating. This is not the coins of today, just because there really was no coins today other than uni. So this is last week's chart that I just wanted you to see what was going on. So you can click on one day in technical rating, and then you can go to filters and choose what exchange you're using. So at this particular example, use Coinbase. And then you can color code your watch list too and pull the flags over. So just the coins that you actually have on your watch list will come over. And then you can sort by moving average rating. And that wording up top means 
simple moving average for 20 days, 50 days, and 200 days. The S stands for sell, and the B, the arrow up, stands for arrow up, B stands for buy. So we're going to review the indicators now. And just know that on the CryptoMastery.online, uh, that's where you're going to get training, video archives, and in-depth tutorials. So the indicators that we're going to look at is the volatility index, oversold conditions, the early reversal indicator, the dynamic ATR, trend indicator, trend strength indicator, the radar screener, and the signal line. And the radar, it's used to organize your watch list. It confirms trade progression. It shows four different chart times. It can be applied to multiple indicators. And you can see four plus time frames, trend direction in one chart. And this is an example of the radar, which you saw earlier. And then when you are customizing your time frames, you just click on the spoke on the left hand side that you see the arrow to. And there's a box that pops up and it says time frame one, two, three, and four. And you can change it there. Again, there's more in depth tutorials inside the members area. So the trend indicator, it's used to set alerts, and then you get you get a key, a bell, and the numbers one through seven that just confirm the directions that the numbers are going in. So this is a trend indicator, and here's your example. And right now, the slide you saw earlier, it, it, there's not much green. Okay, so things are not going up in Bitcoin and Ethereum in the trend indicator right now. It hasn't trended. So it's a protective indicator, I would say. So it keeps you out of the market on the time frame that is best for you to trade in. So if, if you don't have time to be looking at the market every week, then you may want to trade against a one month chart. And if you do have time to sit and watch the market all day long, then or just set alerts and pay attention to your alerts, then you could probably be successful at the shorter time frames. And that's the joy way of this is this indicator goes with whatever time frame you have on your chart. So then you have the volatility index. It shows overbought and oversold conditions and it's used with shorter time frames. The signal line, it shows trend direction and confirmation when the green linear average crosses the red. And that's where we see right now Bitcoin and Ethereum are both at that point where that signal line looks like it's going to cross over. It looks like it's going to create a dot and then it's going to cross. And then the TSI, the trend strength indicator, it shows early trend reversal when the green arrow starts and early exit reversal when the red arrow starts. So at this point, the trend strength indicator is showing you green on Ethereum. So that is good. So we'll see if everything else, the other indicators follow suit. Now the ERI, I call this Houdini. This is the early reversal indicator. And at right now, the red arrow is in the past showing that that both Bitcoin and Ethereum will be going down and that it followed suit. And the green arrow on Ethereum and Bitcoin for the one week average has not shown. And so therefore we are still in the waiting zone. So here's a quick example, which you guys saw as I labeled the current Bitcoin and Ethereum chart. This is just an example from weeks ago. So there you got the early reversal that that arrow is down, which is where we're still in that situation. And then the trend is still red, which means it's going down. And the trend strength in this example is red in, and it's completely in compliance with the other early reversal in the trend. And the signal line is red. And then you have the volatility index going super low to a 5.48, which is red. So in this particular example, if you see red, red, red <laughs> five times, you know just to wait because it's it's dropping. So, you know, don't try to pick up a falling knife, they say. All right, and so the volatility index, just a quick brief example of, of what the zones mean, because this is one of my favorite indicators. So the volatility index up top is where I tend to take profits, and the bottom is where I tend to buy when taking into consideration the other indicators. Again, it's not financial advice, but what the zones mean are below the big thick red line on the bottom, that means oversold, and it's from the numbers 20 to zero. So when you see the numbers between zero and 20 pop up, get excited. That means that it's a good time potentially to buy, depending on what's going on with the other indicators. You want to take all them into consideration and, and make sure you're making a good sound decision based on all the data and technology you have. When it's in the uh, 
the what we call let the cake bake zone the gray area that's still moving when it gets to the top green area which is 80 to 100 that's where i take profits that means it is overbought and that's exciting so just remember if you don't take profit then you're gonna have to keep holding that for a longer time because it will go down what comes up goes down so to begin using crypto mastery indicators you can go to cryptomastery.online to subscribe just use the above url and again you'll get more training in there video archives in-depth tutorials and detail when you sign up so now it's the most fun time. We're gonna go to Q&A and get into the market. Joe is on the line, so it'd be great to get him in here and see what questions you guys have. Glad everybody is here today. And we have a question from Richard. What about dynamic ATR, average true range? So this is, Joe, when you're ready, jump in anytime. Oh, sure. Hi, Susie. Hi, everyone. Hey. Hey. So Richard asked, what about the dynamic ATR, average true range? So I'll have it pulled up, Joe. Yeah. That right there uh, is used in there to uh, trail positions. And it also lets you know when the uh, cycle has changed in the uh, market trend. So for this example here on Bitcoin, the uh, trend is down and the ATR um, shows, it actually comes in right at the upper end of the, the uh, Kelter band. And this shows uh, where a level is. So if we were to get a closing um, bar above this level, well, then the ATR would change direction. So when the market is trending down, the ATR shows red. And then, Susie, if you uh, back up to the left, uh, other way, I just wanted to show in here last year when the market is trending up right there in September, October, then that's when the cycle changes. So the, the last time the cycle was up in this market was, uh, it looks like September, Susie? Right here. You're talking about yeah. this split right here? Yes. For the entry came in right here. Yeah, October 4th, uh, 2021. And then the cycle changed down. Uh, what date is that? It looks like the beginning of January. January 3rd yeah so on this case point what you're seeing here is the atr on october 21st when the cycle turned up we're seeing a move of about 35 percent and then if you notice susie uh the eri gave it looks like november 15th the eri comes in let me see. Hold on. Let me get back to that one. Okay. So, so, the, so guys, the ERI right here, that's the ERI. So do you mean this one right here, this, this upward or this one or this one? Well, what I'm looking at here is, is that the move up started okay. on October 4th. Okay. So let's start from October okay. 4th. All, All right. right. And then here, and then, this is an ERI right here. September. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, but I'm mainly looking at the one in here in November. This one, right, right there. November 2021. Yes. Oh, this one, the downward one. Yeah. The upward and the downward. The, yeah, like usually the ERI will give a first clue before the ATR. So the ATR okay. is like your last confirmation. Okay, so guys, he's talking about the the early reversal indicator right here. This red arrow is saying, all right, things are going to go down. And then what has, so that's a, a reassurance time to take profit. Because let's see, 
how much, even down to that low point. So it went down 48% in 63 days. Which is good if you if you follow the indicator and you take profit now immediately because then you could scoop it back up at the lower price. Is that right, Joe? Yeah, that's correct. That's exactly correct. Exactly correct. So, so are you, you know, guys seeing that? Does everybody see that? So we make sure that you understand that what happened here that the the early reversal indicator came in red. And can you see if you can say in the comments that getting out at that time basically saved you, let's say, a loss of 73% of your money? I just want to make sure you guys can all see that so you understand the significance of, of following these. And then if you would have gotten back in down here when the ERA came back in, and then you got it up here, you would have made another 22%. So you would have made 30% here. Then you would have made another 22% here. And then as long as you're following that early reversal indicator right here, and you're getting out, then you would have saved a loss of 50% here. So it's like a save your money now <laughs> indicator. Let's see if anybody, if everybody comments that they can see that. Nobody commented that they can see that. All right. Glad Julia, Richard, Rob, Stella, Terry. Love for you guys to interact with me and let me know that you can see that. So make sure you're following through. All right. And uh, Richard, does that answer your question about the dynamic ATR? Or Joe, did you want to go into more detail yeah. about the... Uh, Average no, no. What I wanted to do is, is that uh, I wanted to show in here a couple of things that we could do um, uh, for people that are new that are just starting off. So let's say in here you go. There, well, what I want you to do is Richard doesn't think that really explain the ATR to him. Uh, well, let me show you the ATR uh, example in here. Um, you know, what we'll do, Susie, is, is why don't you just hide the ERI chart? You know, so okay. so we only we're only looking at the ATR indicator. Okay. Okay. And then let's go to a different market. Let's go to the Ethereum. Okay. Okay. So Pretty much in there, you know, if you look in here at the starting point on the ATR on the left hand side, you'll see in there where it says enter. And you can put an arrow right there, Susie. Okay, that's stating that the cycle was going up. So you see in there on the left hand side where you can uh, put the text in, Susie? If you can put in there, cycle up below that. Okay, and if you can put a cycle down below the red up at the top. Okay. Up at the top. Can you put that up at, oh, up at the top? Sure, sure, sure. And put an arrow there. And put that in red. There you go. Uh, not there, up at the top. Like that? Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Yeah, like that. Perfect. So the average true range from that distance of that cycle changes and that's the, that represents the percent of change when it changes cycle so um <clears throat> if you want something more clear than that you have to you know just google it on the encyclopedia because everyone um, there's uh it's a standard uh definition of what it is the difference is is the programming that goes behind it where this is a modified ATR, so it um, has uh, other proprietary uh, coding involved in it. But 
uh, standard is that the ATR is used to show change in market cycle. So it's an additional tool that we use here with the uh, suite here of other chart overlays, which show additional uh, clues to when the market could be changing potential direction. You know, you know, you're never going to have everything 100% in your favor for that perfect trade. That doesn't exist. But uh, the ATR is just one of the chart overlays of of the package, um, which is used um, uh, as another confirmation of when that cycle changes. So um, can I add to that that's what I would also? Say. Yes. I want to let them know too that with the average true range indicator, I want to just take your eyes to see the colors of the candlesticks here. So this works simultaneously with the volatility index. It's almost as if the volatility index is built into it. So notice that the volatility index is like what we call it, let the cake bake zone, where it's not in overbought and it's not in oversold when it's black. So these indicators are say it's it's not in oversold yet. Now that's in the oversold zone green. So here's the oversold. So it goes into the volatility index of 80 to 100. So when you're looking at the average true range and you see green, you need to notify yourself. This is a time where I'm going to take profit. If I don't, if I choose to go longer and not take profit, that you need to understand that it is giving you a heads up. This is a ceiling. This is a somewhat, it, we're, we're bumping the ceiling. So what, when the bouncy ball almost hits the ceiling, what is it gonna do? It's gonna go down. So that is your indication, we're flying high, we're flying high. You know, and we don't know how long that the plane can fly at that high altitude, but we're at high altitude and there's gonna be a landing zone. And so when you get into the black, it's like we're landing, we're landing, and it didn't land yet, and bam, now you're on ground, you're on ground floor when you see this red. So I get excited when I see red to the fact where I know that's where my acquisitions I want to acquire in the red so that I can go from like let's let's go back to to the red zone. So at this point, that wasn't even in red I'm gonna, so you notice that this this ethereum back in july 20 it, it didn't really hit a red zone the even those candlesticks look these candlesticks are red it's been a long time so i'm going to just go back in time and i'm going to expand this to see if we could find some red candles and when were those so right here this is the last time we hit a red candle zone in the average true range. So that's March 30th of 2020. We're in 2022, that's over two years ago when Ethereum was in the red zone. So I am super excited about this time frame right now because if history repeats itself, and we're not guaranteed that it will, but typically people say it does, then the last time it was in the red zone, let's kind of see. You, I love trading view for this this ruler right here. It's phenomenal. You click on the ruler, you go from the the red zone, which is a volatility index, all the way to where it stopped. The last time we were down there, is here put up three thousand four hundred and thirty percent in four hundred and six days. That's some stamina, and that takes a long time for it to grow to that point. But if you're, this is why, guys, I zoned out to a one month perspective because that's a lot of growth and it takes patience and time to let it season. But it's like making steaks when you season that steak the night before, it's delicious. Or if you season your fried chicken the night before, in the batter and let it go in the refrigerator and then you deep fry it it's going to be phenomenal so it's just like your fried chicken or your steak let it season so but the thing is is this technology fortunately has given us the perspective and the understanding as to why we're having to deal with patience and stamina and what's the typical 
past experience of Ethereum and the actual movement up. So that's that's facts, that's past, that's history. You're looking at it, and that's a large percentage of an upswing. So this this is an exciting situation to see the red zone because again we haven't seen it so does that make sense to you guys are you guys all seeing that history because i want to make sure i'm going slow enough so that you comprehend 100 percent to know what type of opportunity we have here and that it, it's you know it hasn't um it were super low on the the one week 5.68 percent on this and, you know, um, uh, Susie, what I wanted to do was, right, um, also show in here, well, you know, just to make sure we got past that, right, um, for Richard's question, all right? I just wanted to, because we're running out of time, I wanted to go over here and show what you could actually do right now or what you okay. could be looking for right now, like in the present, you know? Okay. And, uh, you know, if you go to that crypto screener, sure okay all right and uh, i want you to um remove the different yeah. columns and let's set yes and let's set this for coinbase okay so guys we're going filters we're going to go to exchange go to any and i'm going to pull it down to get to coinbase here's coinbase so it's only going to give me coinbase coins right there do you want me to specify anything of down here the market cap volume I, no I, I guess what i want to do is, is just um you know you want to set use this and set this to the brokerage that you have that's the most important um the first thing you want to do is remove these other columns because you don't really need to know them and okay, we just, so we're just if, looking for okay which ones do you want me to keep i just want you to keep the technical rating and the exchange Oh, okay. Okay. And like if you can, um, yeah, sort that, right? And up at the top, if you can change that to daily, it's on one week, just change it to daily. So here's, right here, guys, that's one minute, one hour, here's one day. Okay. Right now, this by itself, um, the information on this is generic, right? But this with the tools that you have is incredible because what this does is it allows you to filter through the different markets with your templates. So, Susie, what I want you to do is, is turn, um, if you could um, turn everything on and hide the ATR for right now, and we'll turn that on last. And I just want to show you some of the things that I do in here. Just little tips and tricks of what makes this interesting and fun, right? So one of the things I do is, is I go in here into this crypto screener, uh, which TradingView provides, and I set this to my exchange. Now, I'm set up at Coinbase. Um, um, I, got, I have a Binance, I have Gemini. So um, I go by each, exchange by exchange because it's more simpler that way right and then once i um so for this example we went to coinbase so once i go in there i look at what they're showing in there as far as a strong buy now what that allows me to do is is immediately uh, allow um this represents money flow because these indicators that they use are generic and money flow by itself is not enough but money flow with these tools allows us to see in here which potential opportunities um, that may be at present. So, like for example, I call one of them. If you look at the TR, TRB, BTC, up at the top, right there. Okay. okay, and let's just take a look at this chart by itself. I'm just minimize that. There you go. I just wanted to point out in here is that we had an ERI set up on this. This was the other day. Now, granted, this thing in market has already started on its move. 
ideally is is that um, once you're able to track these um, once you're able to um, you can take each one of these coins and you can add them to your watch list and then now you have these coins in your watch list and you can set your alert you can set your alert for the uh, ERI so you never miss one right um, on this example the ERI was a great um, uh, opportunity because that also confirmed with the TSI so in this case Susie in there I just wanted to point out um, uh, you know that was just like a good move and, it, and if you look at it, this was like the second leg up because there was another move in here like the beginning of July so there was like two leg two nights move up with this uh, with the ERI so she's saying so he's saying right here you have the early reversal indicator and the early reversal indicator again here so from the beginning of june 2022 up until now that's a 96 percent in 27 days yeah yeah yes and, and you know if you add on your radar on there that's what we're forgetting Right, there's a couple more things we're gonna do. Well, one is, is we're gonna put the radar on there. Oh, oh no, okay, let me go back. Um, and just add the radar. So, I'm gonna move this radar, you can click on your radar, guys. And um, well, we have to click and pull. There we go. So you can click it and pull. Okay. Right. You want now, to as, as well, I was just going to just say is that as the market is going through its sequence, right? Then you know you can utilize the the radar to monitor the strength of how how strong or weak the market is. So the mark the radar really is complementary to your position. And, and in this case, uh, you know, uh, we had the uh, ERI, which gave the first uh, alert. Then we had the uh, TSI, which gave the cross. Then we had the uh, signal line. And then it looks like yesterday we had the bell alert. So this is something in here that, you know, there's a, a lot more room on the upside. You may see this head up higher. Uh, you know, and we caught this a little bit late. You know, but but you know it's uh, that's how it is sometimes. Is that that's why it's important to set your alerts because you know it's impossible to watch all these coins. You know, um, but here's another one just to uh, just to jump from that one to another one, Susie. And if you notice, see how this is TR TR B B T C. Yes. See, when the when the main Bitcoin is going down, it doesn't mean that there's not other opportunities. So um, being part of being a successful trader is like being a conductor in an orchestra, right? So, you know, one part of uh, one cycle is going up in one sector. The other uh, money flow is going down in another sector. So you just try to balance out between the two um, so that you have a, a balanced portfolio. Um, on this example here, this symbol is TRB BTC. So right now we have the Bitcoin dollar, which is actually going down, but we have the money going into the pair. Right? And this is one example. Let me give you another one that just turned. Right? If you go to uh, BTRS. So let's go to the crypto screener. Right? Okay. On the, on the bottom left. We have some comments whenever you're ready for me to let you know what they are. Oh, oh, sure. Okay, go ahead. Let me tell you. Okay, so Richard said, I get it, thanks. I was just wondering how it interacted with the rest of the indicators that you use since you hadn't mentioned it in your overview. So I should do an overview on the average true range. All right, awesome. That was Richard. And then Rob says, how do you filter to Coinbase? So Rob, let me know if we answered that because we showed you how to do that. And then Rob said, Help now that I have a white, not to dark background. So 
we will mention if you guys need help figuring out how to change the color of your background please let me know in the notes and we'll do a quick demo of that and rob said yes thanks for showing that indicator and richard said i get it thanks uh oh wait we already talked about that one and what indicator creates the dark candles so rob let me know if that was answered when i showed you the come the collaboration of the volatility index with the early reversal and the average tree range and richard said it appears to be a niner indicator of sorts it lags what is uh, i've never heard the word niner but um um, that's it. So those are the comments. So you know. Okay. Well, well, I mean, in, in, when he says lags, he's referring to what the ATR. Uh, he meant to say mine or not nine or. Richard said, "Yeah, I think he says it appears to be a minor indicator of sorts. It lags." So. Richard, are you talking? Oh, yeah. He said yes. The average uh, true range. Yeah, yeah. It, it it does. Like when you take a look. Let's go back here before we 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 click off on this, Susie. Uh, I just want you. Yeah, and if you can um, just minimize the bottom so we can take a look at the whole chart. Okay. There you go, like that. And and if you notice, the ATR is still trailing up. So, so it does lag because traders use the ATR to trail stops. As, and then if they Google it, that's what it says. You know, you're supposed to, you know, use it to trail your position, you know, uh, because at that point the cycle changes. So, you know, it lags, um, but it gives you a level. And that's what the most important thing is, is that we're looking at, always looking at levels, 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 right? So there has to be some point when you say, hey, this market is not going up, it's going down. It just can't be indefinite. Same way it can't be indefinite that it's going down and never have a level to go up. So in this case point, the ATR is trailing um, to the, if you look on the right hand side, it's, it's green and it says 68.70. So it's trailing and it gives you a level right there. That's what it's doing. Meaning like okay. right here, the green, is that, is that what you want me to indicate right here? The, yes, yes. Right there. Perfect. 68.70. Okay. Yep. So th does that help everybody understand like how to utilize this? So to, to reconfirm what you were saying, Joe, is you use it to know when, when it's going to... To, to me, I think like correct expectations. Is that a more simple of way to explain it? Is the ATR is going to give you some expectations? Oh yeah, kind of it's it, well, it, it gives you a cutoff level. So it's going to be the last piece to the cycle changing. You know. Like if we were running a, a marathon and I pass you the baton, at the point when I pass you the baton, that's when, you know, the next person takes over, the cycle changes. At, at that point, the ATR changes color, It's the cycle is done. That's it. And that's Maybe, why we have oh, it in no. there. Because it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's uh, it's supposed to be that last cycle before you get out. If you didn't get out of market, you, you want to definitely get out when the ATR hits, put it to you that way. So with with this, this could be another way of explaining it is when it goes into the red zone, because that's where most of the coins are right now. And when it hits, when the, the candlestick hits that upper red zone, that's what typically triggers that momentum. Newton's law, emotion stays in motion, where that that candlestick triggered here and then it suddenly went into that upward motion. Is that complicated or is that a simple way of explaining it to everybody, Joe? I just want to make sure like they can understand it. We could look at another one because we're mostly in the red zone on these coins. And so I think that they're in this pivotal point where we should be zoning in on the red zones that are about to flip to the to the green. Is that what triggers your technology to change? Is is when the candle goes past the top red zone? 
Well, you know, the what that's showing in there is the the, uh, the buyers and sellers, like the strength in there, right? What um, the thing is is that uh, if you miss this, when this changes cycle, if you notice, like on the chart, it's only going to change cycle a couple of times. So what do you do the rest of the time? And that's why it's it's important to utilize the other coins um, that are in play. Um, but the most important is is that when the trend goes down, that you know if you're down on your position, you understand that you need the ATR to be in your favor. Yeah, and and if we miss the boat. Like if you get invited to a party and you're late for the party and you don't hit it right here on entry, then do you just not go? You just wait until, you know, the next event. Like what is it? I mean, are you do you feel comfortable recommending that? Like if if somebody doesn't get in here on the main entry zone on the ATR, then do they just wait until the next entry zone? Well, the, if you turn on the other chart overlays, right, if you, in between there, that ATR can stay in an up cycle for the whole month, but there may be an opportunity in there where you have a new uh, bell alert with the trend indicator. There there may be uh, an opportunity within the next two months where you have a new opportunity with the TSI. These are uh, smaller cycles within bigger cycles. So, um, and that's what really shows you the power of actually uh, the chart overlays because, you know, they're complementary um, to each other, you know? Yeah. What it seems to be is the average true range is more of a long-term momentum finder because in intra- be in between this long term 57 day range of the all true range the i'm sorry the average true range there's tsis come in the trend strength indicators shown downs and ups and you could see like within that time frame if i put a line here hope this is helping you guys analyze this because this is some phenomenal technology and this is the only one that i've seen that gives you almost like a trend strength but it's the average true range strength and directional to give you some kind of a peace of mind knowing you're staying in during these multiple mini waves so that started the average true range on trb btc started may 30th of 2022 and it's it's still in green and so that's a good time frame it's like two months so what joe was saying is that you can get in and out within this time frame and then still win is there anything else you want to add to that let me see if there's any notes or questions on here rob said yes and richard said yes all tree range guys is do you guys see this and is there any questions you have for joe because i want to make certain that you deeply understand this indicator because it's quite powerful and it'll give you some good perspectives and peace of mind knowing that you're in something even it's not even hit the red zone as you can see this trb btc hasn't even hit volatility index so in this particular situation it did right here in the in this prior time zone down here let's see where that was where it was actually in the red but not for long on May 26th. Is yeah. there anything and, and you, you guys know, want to add? Richard said, I'm good. Thanks, Richard said, for taking time to cover it. All right, go ahead, Joe. Is there anything else you want to add? Uh, no. Um, well, I, you know, I, oh, one of the things is, is um, it's great. Uh, you know, this right here is just complimentary to the package. That's all awesome all right so i'm kind of curious it's, what else i'm sorry go ahead go to the next thing you were doing and then i'd, I'd love to kind of analyze some coins with this alter the average true range yeah well i just wanted to just cover uh one more one more market because we're running out of time um which is in in this uh
screen, or Susie, which is the uh, Sushi uh, ETH. Okay, let me just make the screen or bigger so we can. You know, this is a, another pair, but this is the pair versus the Ethereum. Sushi ETH. Right there, ETH. What's that? Okay, here's Sushi ETH. Is that the one you wanted? Is uh yeah, and this is the uh, uh daily Coinbase. Yes, Sushi yeah. Ethereum one day. And, and if you put the uh, EPR one. Oh wow, good find. Right, I just want to just point this out. Like, you know, this is this would be something in here that's eminent. So as we're seeing the Ethereum go down, right, we're just seeing this where this gave the e, the uh, uh, ERI yesterday. Um, we're just seeing the cross in the TSI, right? So you'd be looking for the signal line to cross. So you could set your alert for the signal line, and you could also set your alert for the uh, trend. You know, and, and the volatility index, it already started to go up. So this one here is uh, something in here. Now, what, one of the reasons why I wanted to point this out is because if you notice, the ATR hasn't crossed yet. So that's what I was, um, I just wanted to, to while explaining the, the ATR, explain in there is that the ATR represents that overall big wave. So even though, you know, if you look at the last wave, the last wave was like, it lasted like three months. But you can't wait around for that because just because that's the last wave doesn't mean that you're going to get that, you're going to be there to take that trade or that that trade's 100% because nothing's 100%. But when you're utilizing that complementary to the uh, chart overlays, then you can see in there the value of the whole package. And the value is is being able to utilize the, TI, the TSI and utilize the trend indicator and utilize the ERI. And, and that's called trading. You know, you buy low, so high. Right, and... So we're putting the eye here, guys, for the trend because we're waiting for this to come up. And earlier while Joe was talking, I, I set the alert for the trend. So does anybody need me to show you how to set the alert again on your computer? And then I'll set the alert for the signal line again. So uh, add alert. And I'm going to say um, by Sushi USD. Oh, sorry, Sushi for ETH, Coinbase, one day. And I'm going to copy my note for the alert name and put it in the message so that when I get the email, I'm going to be able to quickly see the email and then know exactly which one of the coins is, is ripe and ready. So I put a check mark next to the early reversal indicator saying, hey, that ERI, the early reversal is saying it's going to move up. The trend is still not green. And you can see on this particular situation, you don't have, um, you don't, we don't get red candlesticks on the trend, but when, um, so the, the green is just saying that it, it's moving upward. It's it, And the green indicate, the green candlesticks on the trend indicator are not showing what's going on in the volatility index. So these are, this is a different trend indicator than the early reversal and the uh, average true range. The average true range is actually following the volatility index on the bottom. Is there any questions you guys have so far? Okay, how do you set your alert? Okay, so Rob, 
what alert do you want me to set? So I will, I'll set the trend indicator again. So you, I just, I'm on a Mac laptop. So I just double tapped on my keypad and then I'm clicking add alert on the key trend. And then you see the bell. So the bell, the first the key comes in and then the bell comes in. So I could, um, it's gonna tell me when the bell comes in. So the key would come in saying, hey, you have a key opportunity coming, but the bell is gonna confirm. So I could just do, I did control command spacebar to get my emojis to come up. I'm gonna say buy sushi for Ethereum one day. Trending up. And then I'm going to copy what I put in the alert name. I'm going to paste it in the message because that's what's going to come up in my email that I that in the email where I've told Trading View to send me the alert. So, Rob, does that help you understand where to do the that particular thing? Okay, it's 106. We're out of time. Oh my gosh, I could spend hours on this with you guys. So, just make certain good find on that, Joe, the crypto screener um make certain that you just take everything into consideration joe i'm just gonna while you talk and do your closing statement i'm gonna just kind of quickly go through some of these um indicators so i can see what's if i can find the early reversal indicator on a one day that's going up so anything you want to say before we leave uh you know you, you have any questions um please ask them uh so we can um, cover in here as much as possible at the time that I'm spending in here with you. And um, there's there's no dumb question other than the question you don't ask. And, uh, you know, learning is a, con a continual process. Uh, all the years that I've been doing this, and this is like, you know, over two decades, <laughs> you know, um, I'm still learning, you know. So it's a constant uh, process in here of uh, uh, of learning, but you know one thing is is that once you've learned in here how to utilize these tools, that's something in here that you take with you back home. So after you know uh, we're done here, um, the education is something in there that that you can carry with you, and uh, you know I aspire so at, at some point if it hasn't happened yet that. You're able to position yourself and uh, reach the financial goals or the objectives that you want to achieve. Because, um, uh, you know, anything is possible with an education. And, and that's where it all starts from. And so right now you have the tools that the pros use. Uh, every time we get together, it's like us playing uh, basketball and we're with Michael Jordan. And the uh, only thing I'm doing is giving you tips and of how I use these tools in there to win um, and get the most fulfillment out of the business. That's it. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Um, I'm just going through the indicators, guys, showing you, looking at the average true range, seeing what is, you know, these are temporarily going down, but then the average true range is going up. So what a fun indicator. And I'm so glad you guys looked at it today. And I look forward to hearing about your success. And um, thanks for finding that TRB, Joe. So look forward to seeing everybody's success in all these coins. I did find some things going on. Um, Adam, the average range is going up. However, on the, the day, it is going down and the downward came in. So no, we want to look to find things that are ready and ripe and to sell and things that are ready and ripe to buy. So look forward to seeing you guys next week and we'll we'll keep searching for you guys and we'll see you soon. Have a great day. All right. Thank you. Bye.